Hello guys and welcome to another great video. So in this video I want to talk about why you should really consider using Saul Palmetto for hair loss problems. <sighs> you know people are looking for a cure for baldness and they've been looking for a cure for years and years and years and you know what there still isn't this magic bullet. You can't just take a pill or whatever and completely cure your baldness. Even the most scientific and technologically advanced um, treatments still cannot completely cure you of baldness. I mean, you can try to cover it up. You can get a really awesome like hair piece, hair restoration. You can get a um, hair transplant, which by the way has a lot of side effects. People get massive headaches when they get that done. So something that you really don't want to mess around with. I mean, in my opinion, I don't think it's something you want to mess around with. However, there's people that have differing opinions, and that's fine. I'm not. I don't want to start a fight. I'm just giving you my opinion, what I think of it. But uh, I personally use salt palmetto, and I've used it for a very long time. And it's not a magic bullet. You're still going to lose some hair, to be honest. Um, and it depends on the individual, too, I think, a lot of it. Because everybody's different. Everybody's body's going to react differently, too, to salt palmetto. But, uh, you know, salt palmetto is one of the most commonly used supplements among men that have prostate cancer or an enlarged prostate. And... Many millions of dollars are spent on Sal Palmetto, primarily just for that. However, throughout the centuries, Sal Palmetto has been used for many different ailments like asthma, bronchitis, headaches, colds, coughs, and also for keeping your testosterone levels balanced. Now, a lot of you might think, oh, Sal Palmetto is going to make you all girly. Uh, you're going to grow man boobs and... All this other stuff, you know, that you hear about salt palmetto. Well, uh, I'm here to tell you that that's a big myth because the truth of the matter is that salt palmetto works by inhibiting this enzyme in your body called 5 alpha reductase, okay, which is an enzyme that converts the male hormone testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. <clears throat> and that is a sex steroid an andro androgen hormone. And DHT is important um, because it helps to play a role in male development, but it also can cause problems in many men, such as a loss of libido, an enlarged prostate, and of course, you guessed it, hair loss. Now, the hair loss is interesting because with the proper um, and correct genetics, okay, then you, you're hair is more susceptible to this DHT, which will shrink those hair follicles and eventually give you that receding hairline and that bald head. So whatever you can do to kind of help balance out those hormones and to keep this DHT in check is a good thing. Not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And let's get this straight. Salt palmetto doesn't actually completely block DHT, okay? Because your body's always going to have some amount of DHT in it. And, of course, you want to because DHT is normal and natural. It's just that <clears throat> it can contribute to problems in men. And that's just a fact. Um, so, one of the things that happens is that <clears throat> the more that you're um, testosterone converts over to dihydrotestosterone, the more, um, effects it's going to have on you, like a lowered sexual desire, um, <clears throat> it can aggravate hair loss for those that are susceptible to it, it can enlarge your prostate, and among many other things. However, here's the thing. If you can retain normal levels of testosterone, which salt palmetto actually helps you to do, it can help you with your weight loss, strength, 
pain response, sex drive, and hair loss all at the same time because that's the benefits of testosterone. Testosterone is an important male hormone. It's what makes us a male. In lower testosterone levels is not a good thing. So the fact that salt palmetto actually helps to retain testosterone levels is excellent. So you're supporting your prostate, you're supporting your hormone levels, you're supporting your hair. Um, and <clears throat> there's studies to back this stuff up. I'm going to give you guys a, an excellent article where you can read about the benefits of salt palmetto and just how powerful this stuff actually is for your hair. But take it from me, I'm 30 years old and I'm not completely bald. And I think that's pretty impressive considering the fact that there's many younger than me that are really already completely bald. And I think that um, if they were had started on salt palmetto early on, like I did, they probably would have retained a lot more hair just because of the mechanisms that I just explained to you guys. So if you guys are interested in this um, <clears throat> and you want to try it out, I will give you guys some great Sol Palmetto brands down below in the description box. Just click on there. It'll take you right there. You can purchase those. Um, it's affordable. It's inexpensive. Much cheaper than any kind of prescription drug. Um, and I have to say there's studies showing that it does work. And uh, I would encourage you guys to take a look at that. You have nothing to lose. I mean, nine, ten bucks or whatever. It's worth it. Believe me, it's worth it. Your hair takes a long time to grow. I think it's like a half a centimeter or something like that a month. Um, or half an inch. It's not very much. So you have to take this a while to really see the benefits of it. So guys, try it out. You have nothing to lose. Hopefully this is encouraging news for you guys. I have many, many, many other videos um, on YouTube about salt palmetto and why it's good. And you know, the famous Dr. Mercola even recommends it. So that should tell you a lot right there. Um, now a lot of the mainstream will tell you that he's a quack doctor. However, he isn't because if you look at what he actually says, he cites studies, scientific research studies that will show you that it actually does work. You, go, you gotta look at the studies. Look at the scientific studies. Scientific studies will show you that this stuff does work. And I mean, I have my own personal experience with it too to back up the claim. So, it's definitely not a magic bullet. But neither is um, Propecia. Neither is the pharmaceutical drugs. Neither is um, Minoxidil or Rogaine, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there isn't a magic cure for any of this stuff. All you can do is do um, the very best and safest for yourself. And in this case, I think that comes down to salt palmetto. That's just one supplement that is good for your hair. There's many, many others. But that really gets to the crux of the issue, I think, for a lot of guys. So if you like this video, make sure you like it. Uh, share it around, please. Share it on your Facebook um, pages. If you have Facebook, share it on Facebook. Let's get this message across to guys. Because I'd rather see them take a natural herb supplement than go down the drug route. Um, everybody's own opinion, everybody's choice, but I'm just here to share this with you guys. Hopefully, um, it'll help you guys. So, uh, take it for what it's worth. <laughs> Alright, see you later.